Hello friends, this is Scott. I'm down here at the hobby farm on a glorious, you know, kind of middle of December day. And I'm looking at the elm and the big pile of firewood I have behind that I've chopped and the hobby farm residences in the background. And uh, I got down here yesterday with Mr. Lincoln and uh, we walked in the front door and 46 degrees. So yeah, I'm waiting for a repairman to come to, to work on the furnace, but it's 45 degrees right now outside. So it's a beautiful day. The only thing I don't like about this weather down here when it's uh, above freezing is it's muddy. So I still have to work on uh, gravel and other things in the in the back driveway. And I got my new shoes. <laughs> they don't look so new anymore, do they? Yeah, these are my old, I shouldn't say new, they're my old basketball shoes. And I retired, so <laughs> might as well use them out here. Anyway, sidebar. But we have, uh, you know, a lot of fun here chopping elm firewood. I guess I decided to do this video, you know, I, I watch a lot of firewood channels, uh, you know, In the Wood Yard, Ohio Wood Burners, all those types of channels, and uh, you know, In the Wood Yard is my favorite, and uh, you know, what I do is such a, a, a joke compared to what those guys do, <laughs> but I enjoy uh, chopping wood, and it gives me some exercise, and, but elm is the wood that everybody says is the toughest, and I've done a previous video where I've split some, you know, the smaller parts of the elm uh, tree, the same elm tree that I got from my rental house. And I brought several, I think it was three truckloads of, and trailer loads full of wood down here. But what happened is that uh, the, I was going to go back and get a fourth trailer load, but a guy knocked on our door at my Salt Lake residence and said, hey, do you have any yards you need cleaned up? So I'm going to show you a little clip of that uh, video if I can find it in my role. I didn't take it. It was uh, from our, our tenant. Uh, 400 bucks. And these people went in and they moved the biggest of the, of the chunks of wood and they cleaned it up beautifully. And in the backyard looks so much better, much better than I would have done it. So sometimes, you know, you need to, you know, spend a few hundred dollars. And again, $400, that's that's a drop in the bucket for the, the amount of work that I was gonna need to do for that final trip. So all the firewood's gone from the rental house. I have more to chop down or to have cut down and then I'll bring more down in the future. But right now I've got two cords of wood in the back behind me here and I've got a, about a cord to chop still. So, so I've got plenty to keep me busy. And it, it snowed last week and I thought the end of the end was was over and I thought uh, winter was going to bring the inside projects but yeah the only inside project I'm doing this trip is trying to keep the house warm and uh, take care of a couple sickly kit cats I've got a couple with the sniffles so so I'm working on that too and uh, I'll show you a little footage of, of them and they're awfully cute when they're when they're when they're not feeling well they uh, they become a family and I'll, I'll show you some video on that at the end of this video but but today I'm not gonna I'm gonna do a video on how long it's gonna take me or what is what is it gonna take I shouldn't say how long what is it gonna take for me to chop a elm chunk this is probably one of the bigger chunks here that's looks like it's 18 wide and it's almost 23 inches tall so this is a big piece of wood you know and you watch these videos with everybody's got splitters and you know you get these big strong you know macho men with all the muscles that can you know bust these huge rounds well i'm going to bust up this huge round i'm not going to it's not a time test it's just going to be how long what is it going to take for me to chop up this big old round i've got you know wedges if i need them and i've got my splitting maul and my axe and i'm going to basically I'm not going to again i'm not going to time lapse this or do any you know timing because i'm old <laughs> so i'm just going to probably show you how many wax it's going to take me to chop this entire uh, big old chunk of wood here and just truly show you what it takes to take out the biggest part of the elm uh, of my tree and uh yeah and then we'll see how much wood we get out of it so let's get going on this and see what effort it takes to uh take care of this big old round let's go Here's a closer look at the at the round. It's a big piece of wood. Again, you know, standard size is 16 inches long, and this one is 23, and it's 18 inches wide. And it's only got one knot on it. So uh, as you look back at some of this other wood here that I have to still chop, it's got they've got lots of branches coming off. So they're going to be a challenge. But uh, I'm truly going to try to do this without using any any wedges. I'm just going to use the maul and the axe until I can't take it anymore. <laughs> if that gets to that, and then I will, uh, yeah. So anyway, when we start whacking, I'm going to try to do just a cross pattern on here. And this is an eight pound uh, splitting maul. So I'm just going down the middle and I'm going to do it both ways. So it's like a cross. Now, some people, when they split the bigger uh, rounds, they, they hit the edges first. And uh, I'm just going to try to pop it and, and see here. Now, I'm not that patient of a person normally. So this is an experiment with this elm. And again, people on, on uh, YouTube always say, elm, you can't split it can't split it. Well, I've split a lot of elm already, smaller pieces, uh, you know, more normal length size and a lot narrower. 
and they've given me a workout. And I have had to use the wedges a few times, but I think uh, I'm going to try this to the best of my ability to not use those and just see if I can get this thing apart. So I'm going to be doing a lot of swinging, it looks like, and I've already, I'm already into it probably. Oh, I don't know. I'm not, I, I did count them as I went back over this video and a few times, but uh, I'll give you the totals at the end, but kind of keep trying to, you know, keep a mental track of how many times I'm swinging this eight pound sledge. Now, I'm usually not going to do this again. I will have given up by now, but you know, i got to take one for the team today and just really see if Elm is that tough. And I'm starting to stick a little bit, so I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I'm making some headway here. But it's not really, I'm not seeing anything uh, happening too much, and I'm not hearing it. Usually when you start hearing a, a piece of wood give up, you start you know, see, hearing a different thud. And uh, it's, I'm not hearing that thud yet, so... I'm swinging and swinging, and I'm grunting and grunting, and and I turned the you know the volume way down on this so you can hear the the axe hitting the wood. I hope you can't hear me panting because I'm I feel like I'm uh, and listening to it myself and you know full volume. I I sound like I'm dying. So, but yeah, I'm getting old, and I'm just uh, yeah. But the wood has kept me young, I think. So, I'm I'm proud of myself as I watch back on this footage of how many times I've swung. Uh, but again, it's uh, if I want to be productive, I wouldn't. I would have quit, and I would have grabbed the uh, wedges, and I would have uh, just split it by now. But you know, the, usually wood gives up once you split it in half. You can you know take care of it uh, fairly easy. But yeah, I'm just swinging and swinging and swinging. And again, I'm not. I'm trying not to give up. I'm just going to keep on going and keep on going and uh, and see what it's going to take. But yeah, I'm getting kind of out of breath, and I should have brought some water. But I didn't predict it was going to take this much, so I'm just uh, going to keep going. So I think, you know, I kind of, as I go through these clips, I, you know, I, I, when I'm editing, I think I'm probably good for about 13 to 15 swings before I get tired. So, yeah, trying to go at it and trying to keep breathing, and yeah, and it's, uh, it's not budging. This is really uh, interesting. Elm, you know, I've chopped some elm, and I took one or two swings and popped it right open, but this is the, the biggest part of the tree, and it's definitely not even a twisty grain. It's got one knot in it, so this is a pretty true reflection of a good piece of elm and what the effort it takes on a good oversized piece of elm to get this thing to try to try to split it, and uh, yeah, I'm just whacking and whacking. I've never hit a piece of wood this many times uh, ever in my life, I don't think, so... Yeah, I'm kind of a, yeah, but I'm, I'm determined. I'm going to keep on swinging and see if this thing, uh, you know, ever splits for me. But, yeah, I'm just going at it, going at it, and going at it. And uh, you see the X there. You can kind of take a better look. And I'm hitting it. And usually, as fairly straight-grained as this is, it appears, uh, you think it would give it would give loose. But, yeah, keep on going, keep on going, and uh, switch sides and, Keep thinking I'm gonna the next swing's gonna do it, but still not making any noise. There's no noise change, so I'm just uh, yeah I'm getting a little bit frustrated and I kept kind of thinking hmm doubts starting to creep into my mind that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pop this thing. I gave up and I got the little sledge out and a couple wedges and I'm gonna see if I can pop this thing open. Yeah, I swung a lot of times. You know I think I don't even know how many times I swung. Probably a hundred. Or close to it. <laughs> so it's pretty amazing. I've never swung that much at a, a chunk of wood before. But well, I'm, like I say, I'm taking one for the team and I really want to make this a true elm challenge. And looks like elm is what they say on the internet. It's uh, if you get the big pieces, even the ones that don't appear to be that naughty, they're tough. But whoop, there's a sign of weakness. So the wedges were the key. So should have started with that in the first place. But again, I wanted to try it with an axe and a, and a sledge just to see if I could do it. But so we got a little bit of crack there, so let's see. I'm going to get the, uh, the splitting maul out again and see how many hits it takes to pop this open. And boom, one, and it looks like oh, I don't even need to swing again. So let's take that other wedge out and let's push it apart. And yep, there we go. And you see they're pretty straight grain, so that was a, that was a tough one. That's probably the toughest piece of wood I've ever, <laughs> I've ever split. So there we go. Now it looks like it's splitting open. I'm still using the maul. And then I start hitting it again, and yeah, it's still, still not giving in. Oh, there's a, there's a little bit of progress. So again, I'm only at doing the half to start with, and I'm still swinging away and swinging away. Let's see how many more it takes to get this busted up. Yep, not easy. So elm is, you know, what they say it is. It's a, it's a tough wood, and it is something that uh, gives you a lot of 
<laughs> definitely gives you a lot of exercise. But yeah, I'm determined. Uh, so I'm going to finish this off and uh, we'll see how many hits it takes to get this busted up. But even it's in its quarter form here, it's still tough. It's, uh, yeah, it's not, not given, given in. So I'm trying different angles and that's not, it really seemed to be helping much. So yeah, I'll just, uh, yeah, again, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to, I'm going to finish this through to the end and, and, uh, I could grab the wedge again, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep swinging until I'm done. And so, uh, yeah, so it'll take me a little while. So let's, uh, stay, bear with me here. We'll see how many of this actually takes, but, uh, yeah. But I'm starting to, I think I'm starting to make a little bit of headway. Let's turn it a little bit and see if what I can do here. Let's see. Oh, let me grab the axe because I can get some more velocity with the axe with a thinner blade. Let's see if I can uh, get in here and, uh, and chop this up. Boom. Well, I see a little crack. But now the problem with the axe is it sticks in there and it's hard to get out. So you'll see me fighting with this quite a bit uh, the rest of the video. But there we go. Starting to make, now we're making some progress, so. Yeah, the splitting maul works great, but it is a thick bladed tool. And so sometimes the axe is what you need to do, even though it's a little bit tough to get it out of the wood. And I didn't want to do a time challenge because I knew with the breaks in between my uh, many swings, I was probably going to take a while for this. So so you are going to see every swing that I made at this, uh, at all the wood on this uh, stump. But the axe seems to be making a little bit headway. And uh, yeah, there we go. Now we're starting to get it busted up. So almost got half of it done and that still it's a uh, I'm into this video you know about 12 minutes so yeah and that's with breaks I you know stopped filming during breaks so I look like I'm in such great shape nah I took some breaks so I'm probably into this maybe 30 minutes by now uh, yeah and, and I'm starting to you know I'm doing I'm doing better than I you know I'm at least in decent enough shape because I've been chopping wood for a little while but so one more swing and we'll have half of it done, it looks like, I think, here. So let's see if I can get it with this last one. And here we go. And boom, there we go. So there's half. Now let's get the other half. And I try with the axe to start with and had some good luck with the first swing. Knocked a piece off. And then I'm starting to get stuck. And I'm getting tired. And so you're going to see me struggle, I think, with uh, with this axe. Because as I hit it, yep, I am making some some headway. Maybe not hitting so straight, but I am seeing some damage done with uh, with the axe. But it is becoming more of a pain to uh, get the axe out. But I'm determined still. But I'm going to try the, the splitting maul again and see if that'll help a little bit. But, you know, usually when you bust a round in half, you know, you don't have to worry about the maul anymore. But, yeah, this elm is tough. And as you see here, it's just, it's not even budging. Yeah. So, again, I'm into this probably 25 minutes now, or 30 minutes, and uh, I'm still whacking away and uh, not making much progress. So, and again, this is a pretty good stump. There's a look at the, the bark. It's fairly thick bark. You know, but there's quite a bit of wood in this stump. So even though I'm spending some time, there's a, there's a dent. It is worth it in the, in the end, I think, because we are getting a, you know, maybe a day or two's, or a night or two's worth of firewood out of this. So... Well, I should have swung at the same place I was, but now I'm getting a little tired and I'm getting a little, I'm not being very accurate. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, we'll, we'll turn it a different direction and try it again. Let's see it, hit it from the other side, see if I can get it to work. And Yeah, it's starting to wiggle a little bit, but still, there we go. Got a little chunk out. Maybe that'll make it thinner and I can get get into this a little bit, but yeah, there we go. So we're getting there. I've only got a, hopefully a few more swings and we can get this one done. You can see I stacked up the first half of the wood there to the to the left there. So, But, yeah, it's still a tough piece of wood. And I still have that knot. You see that one knot there. And I'll show you a little bit uh, close up of that here in a little bit. But I am surprised that this wood has been this tough. It is pretty straight grained and there is just the one branch coming out of this. So I figured it would have been easier. As I have chopped quite a bit of this tree already, but this piece uh, is, yeah, really challenging me. Again, it is 23 inches thick instead of 16, so yeah, if it was 16 inches, I probably wouldn't be fighting it quite as bad, but yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm about over this, this challenge, but once I start something to get my mind set on something, I'm going to finish this, so there we go. There's a little bit of a chop there, and I got one piece split off, and we're getting down to the nitty-gritty, but again, it's 
more tired I get, the harder it is to get the axe out of there. So let's see how many more swings it's going to take. And again, I did count the number of swings, and I'll tell you at the end of the video. I, mean, I narrate a little bit at the end where I didn't know at the time until I got to review all the footage. So I'll give you a, a count at the end of this and, uh, and give you a true feeling of what Elm really is. And there we go. We're starting to get a little bit of movement. And I'm going to go back to the axe. Let's see if this is going to work better. I should have went the same angle, though, because eh, there we go. Now I just stuck it in there again, and now I can't get it out. Yeah. Most normal people would have given up by now, but not me. I'm, a, I'm not. One thing I haven't been called is normal. So <laughs> here we go. And I got the, the mall back out, and it's still not budging. This is a tough, tough piece of wood with this last knot. So I got the, the toughest part of the tree, or this stump, for the, for the last. So I'm eyeballing it. Got to get my energy and my strength up, and boom, there we go. Now I was able to bust it up, and I got one little chunk left. So let's see what I do with this. And hopefully I can get this knocked apart because I'm about done with this. Oop, there's a crack, so we got weakness. Let's see. I think one more swing might do it. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of didn't have a good swing there, a little off center. So I still got to do a few more whacks here. Let's see what we got here. Looking around, uh, I'm starting to get an audience. Looks like more traffic. And yeah, still not giving up. But the end is in sight, and I'm not giving up. And here's a look at the knot. Uh, so we had one branch coming off this tree, so it was pretty straight grained. And it gave me this much trouble. So just imagine if this has been a been a stump with multiple branches coming out. It would have been a nightmare. And it was, it was a nightmare. So, And I will never in my life probably ever hit a hit one chunk of wood this many times. But I did uh, want to do it for this challenge. And here we go. We got it to split. And I'm able to pull it apart. And I still have the piece with the knot in it. And I'm thinking I'll hit it one more time. And then, nah, I'm not going to do that. So, So here's a look at the amount of wood that we got out of that one round. Was it worth it? Not really, but it was a good challenge. But you see, Elm is definitely uh, what they say on the internet, tough to chop. Well, I'm glad I didn't time that, because that took a while. And it was, uh, yeah, a few swings, as you saw. So anyway, I will, you know, I don't know how many times I hit that wood, but it sure popped easy after I'd had it loosened up and then I just one swing of the, of the big old sledge and it popped them popped it right in half so once you get it in half uh it's not too shabby it's uh it gets a little bit easier i've had smaller pieces though that have been harder than this big piece i mean literally if it depends on the amount of limbs that were coming off of a stump you know this wood is twisty and it's uh yeah elm yeah it, elm will give you a workout so well i hope you enjoy this video uh kind of give you a, a, a lay person's perspective it's definitely not an expert at, at chopping wood but i i enjoy it and it was good exercise but again i uh yeah, I'm glad I didn't time myself because uh, I wasn't very productive today. So. I wasn't able to find the video of my backyard at the rental house all cleaned up, but did have the video of the kitties. And there's a uh, coquette, which is not, who is not sick. But here's the two sickos, Thing on the left and Theo on the right. And Theo's been a really great partner for Thing. Now, Thing's got you know much worse for wear with the cold, and Theo's making sure that she stays warm. So... Yeah, they're under the heat lamp, and uh, hopefully they get better. They must have some kind of upper respiratory uh, infection. But anyway, well, thanks for watching this video, and uh, let me know what you think of Chopping Elm, because it's been fun. But uh, hopefully I'll be back down here in a couple days to check on these kitties. While editing this video, I did go back and count how many times I swung the splitting maul as well as the axe, and I swung the splitting maul a total of 127 times. And I swung the axe 14 times, so a total of 141 swings to split that uh, that chunk open. So anyway, that's weighed more than, uh, it's beyond reasonable. So <laughs> won't be doing that again. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment. Thank you.